So here's the final result of the thing that we are about to make in just a few seconds. So check this out. It's really cool. You can see uh, that the curves are running along the mesh and they are beautifully look like they're custom fitted. So let's let's see how is this, uh, what would be the best way to achieve something like this. In this video, let's take a look at a cool little tool called Polygon Edge to Curves. So to demonstrate it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a box, just draw a box on my uh, viewport here, and then let's go ahead and go into Polycube, and let's subdivide it, giving us some uh, geometry to play around with. So I'll just do 7x7, seven seven, kind of a cube. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flatten it, and maybe let's expand it a little more, and a little more thickness and let's do something interesting maybe go to uh, deformation go to nonlinear and just go to bend and let's try to bend this thing and what I'm gonna do is I need to rotate this holding down the J key I'm just gonna rotate it this way I want my bend to be kind of like this all right so let's say you have something like this and uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to select everything, clear my history, and let's, um, well, let's make this, I'm going to press B on my keyboard, I don't need my soft select on, but I'm going to grab all of these edges. I'm just trying to create like a fast, uh, fun shape, so I'm just going to maybe do something like this. All right, so let's check out what this tool does. So for example, uh, I'm going to turn on my wireframe here. So let's say we need this curve. Maybe maybe I'm making some kind of a robot or a, some kind of a part for something and I need a cable running along this edge. So for me to do that I would need this to be a curve so I can um, you know make this into a cable, right? So how do we do it? Well if you go into modify and then go to convert there's something called uh, polygon edges to curves. And if you click on options, you can see what the options look like. So in this case, I'm just gonna say linear. That's the only thing, so I'm, I'm gonna reset this. You can see it's default, but I'll just set this to linear and just say convert. And as soon as, soon as you do that, uh, you can see that the edge that you selected or pre-selected is now a curve, right? And it's already selected for us. So now if I go to, let's say, create sweep mesh and just do a sweep, I can, uh, let's see, I can scale this down and I can add some more uh, resolution to my curve if I needed to. But you can see how uh, cool it is because now you have this cable running along the shape, the hard surface shape. And this could be very, very powerful. So for example, if I press three on my keyboard, you can see that it's creating a really interesting, uh, smooth uh, geometry. So this is uh, a cool little trick. So make sure you take advantage of it. And if you want to create some uh, interesting detail with the curve, maybe let's just do one more. Let's do, uh, I'll, I'll grab maybe this. Uh, I don't want my symmetry on. I'm just going to grab this one in the middle here. And let's just do it one more time. I'm going to go to Modify, Convert, Polygon Edges. Now I'm going to go to Create and do another uh, Sweep Mesh. And maybe this one could be something a little bit different. I'll give myself enough resolution, maybe scale this down. And let's do a distribution. Maybe we'll do, uh, how many cables do we want? Let's do, let's do a few more. I'll do seven. I can scale their profile, right? I can also uh, change, I don't wanna change the alignment, but I can also um, change the shape of it. So maybe I want it to be more along these lines. And now I can control, I can also control the corner radius, which is kind of cool. If you wanna make it more or less square, right? So. Uh, very powerful stuff. You can go to square, for example. Maybe this is actually this is what I was looking for, and I'm going to scale the profile a little more. So you can see how quickly you can create some really interesting uh, 
designs by this technique by just just extracting curves right out of meshes and um, I wanted to share this uh, cool trick that I just learned and I hope this is uh, useful in your work. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.